Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell, get the updates. We're really excited for today's video. So this beer is courtesy of Hot Butcher for the World. Thanks so much for sending it off. I really appreciate it. And uh, this is one of those ones that, when like, you know, I, I was made aware of the brewery and I was like looking into them and stuff. I saw the can art first, right? And it's just like, that is amazing can art. Great name, Megabyte. You got, you know, shark coming up to the surface, jaws kind of a thing. Um, yeah, just like, <laughs> wait, this is one of their, yeah. It's like, how I'm going to say this beer has uh, amazing mouthfeel. There's just like these givens with some of these hot butcher uh, beers. Uh, but for sure, the can art, it's always a given that's going to be amazing. Dan Jetsa just crushes it. So I love the can art. I've loved it since I, I first like scrolled through their webpage and looked at all the, the different uh, artwork that they have up. Um, so yeah, anyway, this is Megabyte, Citra and Amarillo. I would say Amarillo. I think it's Amarillo is how you're supposed to pronounce it. Uh, hopped Double India Pale Ale, and it's 7.5% ABV. And I just realized I didn't roll a can. Try to suspend all the particles. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I'm always excited to try their beers, but I was really excited for this one. This beer is just under a month old. Uh, Mr. Skilling Y, I'm assuming that's a Jaws reference. Google references. It's always been a weak area of mine. But hopefully people are like, oh, yeah, it's that. Looks beautiful. Yeah, it looks beautiful. It's that, I mean, it's just classic. Can you say classic? We talk about New England style IPAs. But it's that classic burnt orange, a little bit of, of yellow on the outside color. I mean, it's super hazy. Um, I thought it poured it pretty aggressively, Let, you know. Somewhere between half and a full finger ahead. Small bubbles, like teeny tiny ones, where they're small. A couple medium ones as it breaks up. You know, a little bit of lacing for a little bit. Not too, no, a little bit of legs, not really too much. Probably doesn't have the alcohol to really create legs on it. But yeah, definitely a beautiful looking hazy IPA. Let's get to the aroma. Oh, where are the hops again? Citra and Amarillo, yeah. It does have a nice soft fruitiness. I get the, the peach that, for me, I, I used to, when I saw Citra or I had a beer with Citra, it was always orange. I get some of the orange. But it does seem like lately, for whatever reason, I'm picking up more of a peach thing. Sometimes peach nectar, even like peach rings, the candy. I definitely get that peachy thing out of this. And then the orange is juice and zest, but way more of the juice. But there's a, a nice kiss of that zest. Somewhat generic tropical fruit. Little creamsicle vibe, just a little bit. And mango. I knew there was something specific in that tropical. I still got to go generic tropical fruit for the rest, but I do get a little bit of mango. It smells killer. I mean, it, <laughs> no pun intended based on the can art. It smells really good. Let's get to the glass. Cheers. Yeah, it's got that stupid, amazing mouthfeel. You do get that peach. It's peach cream, but then it gets cut with orange zest, so then it kind of morphs into like this, uh, like orange zest cream thing. So not like orange cream candies, because there's too much zest. Almost like if a, an artisanal place wanted to take like that classic combination and, and step it up a notch, and they're using orange zest, kind of has that thing, that thing like that's ever existed. Man, I love that aroma. I get some of that mango on the taste. Actually, it follows the nose pretty good. You didn't get the bitterness, you know, on the aroma, but you get a, a nice level of bitterness, but definitely is juicy for people who want the juicy IPAs. You'll be happy with this one. You want some bitterness, you'll be happy with this one. That's kind of the camp I'm in. Yeah, this is delicious. Little herbaceous note, 
fighting its way through the the juicy the juicy stuff. Yeah, no, that's that's delicious. What are they saying? Lush citrus, creamy mango. I feel good about that. Ripe stone fruit. That's pretty spot on to what I was saying then. I mean, I definitely, I mean, the citrus for me leans orange specifically. Fair enough. The creamy mango, actually, that's kind of interesting because for me, the creaminess really was melding more with the uh, orange and the peach. Not so much that mango. For me, the mango is, is distinctively its own. And ripe stone fruit. I mean, I guess it goes with the peach, right? It's really good. Well, pitted fruit, anyway. Um, that's delicious. That's a really good beer. That, that's, you know what? That's pretty much what I wanted this beer to be. You know, it's got that awesome mouthfeel. It does have that sweetness, but still some bitterness. It's getting, you got the nice fruit things going. Um, they're working well together. Nothing's too overpowering or to, to the point of distracting of other things. It does It does have some of that herbaceous thing, so like a little bit of complexity. It's not just straight, you know, juice head thing. Um, yeah, I, I think this is, it's clearly a winner for me. I, I don't know. You see these 7.5% ABV double IPAs from these guys. I go in with high expectations every time. Uh, I don't think I've been let down yet. Um, yeah, this is, this is absolutely delicious. Thanks again for sending it. Really appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate that. Check me out on Instagram on tap. It's no hype beer reviews about those places. So please please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.